today I'm going to show you how to take your audio from sounding like this to sounding clean and clear like this for absolutely free using an Adobe software that you might not even know exists. Right now, I'm recording both audio and video straight out of my iPhone to show you that this can be done with really any microphone. Having good clean audio is so important because if you have bad audio, it's one of the first things that your viewer notices when clicking on your video. Especially when it comes to podcasts or more informational type videos, a lot of people listen to them while they're in their car driving or completing everyday tasks. So then at that point, the audio is 100% of the experience for the viewer. It's important though to try to capture the best audio you can first so that you can have a good starting base. But if you're already past that point, this might still help. So I definitely recommend turning off things like fans, vents, refrigerators, televisions, anything that makes sound really at all. If you can hear it, your microphone can usually hear it too. So once you have all your footage on the timeline, mute all of the tracks except the voice track and then export everything as an MP3. Once you have your MP3 file, go ahead and upload that into Adobe's podcast voice enhancer. It'll take a few minutes for it to load. Once it's finished rendering, go ahead and play it back and then adjust the slider to the point where it just removes the background noise. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to take your audio from sounding like this to sounding clean and clear like this for absolutely free using an Adobe software that you might not even know exists. Right now, I'm recording both audio and video straight out of my iPhone to show you that this can be done with really any microphone. Don't go much further than that though, otherwise it'll start to compress your voice and it'll make you sound weird. And then you can just go ahead and download that file. Once you have the WAV file downloaded, go ahead and import that into your timeline, mute the original voice track, and then unmute everything else. And then there you go, you're all done. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.